Hello, I'm M.K. Davis. I want to discuss with you today uh, a piece of film, video, taken back in the last century, 1990s, by a forestry service employee by the name of Paul Freeman. Now, this film has had its ups and downs, and, and it's, it's uh, detractors, as well as Mr. Freeman himself, uh, who is now deceased, but the film lives on. And the film uh, certainly uh, showing a Sasquatch in broad daylight certainly deserves uh, a deep dive to see uh, what it contains uh, and so I decided to do that, and this is part of that. But it's a, uh, it's got a couple of parts, and th this would be the part that when he first encounters it, he he uh, has those famous words, "Oh, there it goes." And let's just watch that. I'm going to change that to another player where I can stop that. Yeah, I want to show you, uh, just pay attention to when it stops. Uh, the Bigfoot stops, or the Sasquatch, allegedly, whatever it is, and looks over its shoulder back at Paul Freeman. There, That's the head right there, and you see it start to light up. Or illuminate. The sun is coming in from this angle right here. It's hitting it squarely in the back. And when it turns to look over its shoulder, it puts this side of the face into that sunlight. But something else unusual happens. It begins to illuminate on the back side in the shadow. And you see it illuminates not just the cheeks, but way on back, to the, almost to the back of the head. And, and I deem that to be unusual. And it's allegedly looking at Paul Freeman, looking back at him. And at about this time, Mr. Freeman says, Jesus, and he pulls the camera down. And he looks with his eyes. And in in my efforts to to glean all the information I could, factual information out of the the film itself or the video, I uh, I put it through a filtration process. And the filtration process was designed to uh, increase surface brightness. So that instead of looking at a silhouette, you're, you're, you can actually see details in the shaded reason, regions of the film subject. And I begin to see even more strange things in this film. And when I say strange, I'm not talking about uh, strangeness in regards to someone trying to hoax. I, I'm talking about strangeness in regards to physics. Um, now, you don't see the body of this thing right here. You can see it a little bit in the filtered image. But what's really unusual is when he says Jesus, takes the camera down, the whole area around the film subject 
becomes overexposed. And then when it when he when it does begin when the, when the flash of energy or light or whatever it is is over, you can see the camera iris readjusting. And I'll show that to you. Let me find it here. Right here. This is the filtered image. See, you can see uh, the surface brightness on the dark side of this subject. See it turn? There's the flash right there. Everything's overexposed. Now, he takes the camera away at that point, and there's more frames. But see it, see it readjust? I didn't, I didn't uh, include those frames because they weren't pointing at the individual. They were just, he just took the camera down and let it go wherever it went. When he gets it back on him again, it, 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 I just started it right there. But take a look. There it turns. There it is right there. See, both sides of the face are overexposed. There's the flash. The flash. See it readjust? Darken back down? The camera reacted to that flash of energy. And at about the same time that this flash occurs, you'll see this bottom limbs of this tree began to agitate. Now you see them shaking there, but they do it again. Watch. There you go, right there. And it, to me, uh, it, it, it appears to me that something's occurring there that's, that we don't understand. And, and it involves, the, the physics involves light and heat and at the time that it overexposes and it's not overexposing in, in, in every aspect it's overexposing in the that part of the spectrum that is uh, that that the filter is picking up and that's why that filter picks up that that overexposed frame so well see the back its back is completely overexposed where the sun is hitting it. So you see it's back. Watch it's back when it makes a, a, another run at it. Watch its back. See where the sun's hitting it? It's all overexposed. The front, I was able to pick up detail on where it had formerly been just a silhouette. See the overexposure everywhere? All over. That's when he says, Jesus. Then you can see it darkened back down. The iris begins to react to that overexposure and close. Watch it step out of nowhere. So there you, yeah, there you see. Watch it. Look at right here. Watch these limbs right in here. Just as just as this overexposure occurs, these limbs shake, uh, and that that seems to indicate that there is a sudden rise of air that pulls in the cooler air along the ground. Uh, so whatever caused this this flash 
was enough energy in it to affect the temperature of air. And what I'm saying is that, that you're looking at something strange and unusual that almost beyond the possibility of a hoax. Even though what we're looking at we may not fully understand. She goes I, almost out of sight even though she's right there. Uh, and I call it a she, but there's no indication that it's a she or a he uh, that you could tell positively. What I could tell was that it did not have the the belly paunch that a lot of people said she had a belly paunch like she had been pregnant or was pregnant. Uh, I don't see that in here with that surface brightness being up like that. You can see in the front side of her. And it looks pretty trim. Uh, now, I, I call her, her her, but it could just as easily be a he. Overexposure. See it come back down, the tone come back down. The camera adjusts, the automatic iris adjusts. It, it, the camera sees the overexposure. Apparently he must have seen it too. Uh, we all wonder why he said Jesus, and I thought maybe because he lost the the uh, the uh, creature in the brush. <coughs> Excuse me. But I think now maybe that he saw he saw the flash uh, and didn't know what he was seeing. You're not going to see it as readily on the full color version. This is filtered. Uh, this takes that each each little spectrum, and you can uh, split it with a prism. This would be the very the very dimmest, uh, faintest stuff made to be bright. That's how come I, you can see surface detail on the belly of her or it, um, and they call that albedo in astronomy. The albedo is higher. And, and for no more than, than this little short j walk across for that much in the in this high strangeness field to be showing in this video it's uh there it is the flash now I, you know you can make of it what you want but the impression i get is that it it's it's got some abilities that we don't know about but it seemed to change its mind it's right here. You can see the body just a little bit right here. It was very difficult to pick out of the color, full color version. I'm not at all sure if it goes behind brush. It doesn't appear to in this filtered image. It appears to just lose lose sight of it. It's for whatever whatever its its manipulation is. Uh it's able it's able to 
blend or either to cause cause itself to be hard to see. And it's associated with that flash. The flash happens as that as that occurs. Watch it go up in there. Disappears. Flash. Then it, it, the iris readjusts and comes back down to a proper exposure. It's still there. You can't, you can't see it hardly, but it's still there. There it goes. You can't, you can't take things for granted, that's for sure. If you do just a, a, a surface examination, uh, I see the big belly, which is not there. You know, you might you might see things, and a little bit of interpretation kind of creeps in. Just the fact that I call it a her, because later on it picks up a small a small one. Uh, and its legs dangle. And from that, our experience in life amongst humans tells us that could be the mother. But the film doesn't. The video does not tell you that. We don't know what, what they do. We don't know whether, whether uh, male or female has these duties or maybe both we don't know let's go over here oh it looks like it's gone oh there it is let's just look a little bit about where this occurred it occurred up in the mountains or the hills uh, depending on how you look at it above the town of Walla Walla, Washington, along a creek called Mill Creek. If you look, Walla Walla is kind of in the more arid regions of, of uh, Washington State. It kind of near the Oregon line. And there, to get water for the town, they had, uh, they caught the water, dammed up the Mill Creek and caught it they call it the Mill Creek Watershed, and they didn't allow anyone in there uh, lest they might want to uh, commit some kind of, a, of a, a malfeasance up there with that water supply. So no one was allowed in there but empl employees, and that's what Mr. Uh, Paul Freeman was at that time. But you see, it's not not a lot of dense foliage, not a lot of big trees or anything like that. Just in the the little valley of the Mill Creek. And it goes on up in here. And you see there's a this is where I'm not sure exact place where, but you can see that things change when it gets up in the mountains. There's a, a quite a bit more greenery, more timber, more grass, uh, less agriculture, and they get their water. And so this, these things, there was at least two there, maybe more, were living in there, and it was a protected area. And I don't know if you're a hunter or not, but uh, in the case of hunting. Animals tend to know where the protected areas are. And when it comes to the hunting, they find these places, they go to them and ride out the hunting season, and then they spread back out. And I, maybe something like that was happening there. They were, they were undisturbed, with the exception of, with the exception of Mr. Freeman, who uh, very diligent, at keeping a presence there. 
he found he found their evidence he found the tracks he found numerous other things and he decided to just make a make a presence there and that's how he got his video are they there now who knows but i would say that this is it's kind of scant right in here hardly anything right through here and then when you get up in the mountains it's just you know in that rugged area there's still trees and stuff even on even with some of that it's it's bare it's just an arid arid region of the state so i wanted you to understand what the film or the video shows it's not it's not up to me to try to try to uh convince anyone of this or that other than to say this is what is on it let's see here so that's what is on it a flash uh, let me see if i can find the full color version of it see here oscillating file of look back Let's see what that one does there it is right there see I got it oscillating see it just light up on both sides uh, pretty amazing Shouldn't do that. One side should have been in the shadow. Quip clip extended HD. Okay. Now, let's see, stable walk, look back, oscillation, let's see what that one is. See the flash right there? It, it doesn't look like much of a flash. There's some color to it. But uh, when it comes to the, the particular frequency that those filters picked up, it flooded the old tire frame. But you can see it right here in natural light. Overexposure. That's when he said Jesus. Now that's an oscillation there that watch you can see that part of it's uh well can't get it to move we'll just watch it through see the face and the head right there Well, it looks like this thing is frozen up. There we go. There we go. Here's a full stride. That's a full stride right there. For what it's worth, you can see it pick up this other leg right there you 
You can see that this is a violent shaking of the tree limb. And it does it again right before the flash as if it were pulling air. Like if the flash occurred right here, there would be heat. And it would rise and pull in surface air. That's a bruiser there now. All right. Shoulder, head, forward lean. So that's what I have found in that deep dive to that clip with 319 frames that I, I filtered. And it, it, it surprised me. You don't know what you're going to find when you go uh, looking at the minutiae of a piece of video. But it's inconceivable to me that this thing was hoaxed. And when he said Jesus, he said it for a reason. I thank you for your time.